Hey everyone, Joe here. Just a quick video to show you an update that Audacity put out about a week ago. Finally got around to making a video on it. Uh, our prayers have been answered, our dreams have come true, real-time effects are coming to Audacity. Um, so that means uh, VST effects that you can, so you can affect the audio as you're playing it and you can make changes to, to things like EQ and compression settings while you're listening to the audio before you uh, sort of print it onto the audio itself like you can do with pretty much any other DAW. This is something that Audacity could really have done with a long time ago. It would be, be really helpful uh, for mixing in particular. If you saw my most wanted uh, features, new features in Audacity video, I'll leave a link in the description. This was one of the main ones that I talked about. So um, second of all, last week, Audacity posted on Facebook, today we have a sneak peek for you real-time effects. And see a little click-through demo here, which I'll show you in a second. Real-time effects will be coming to Audacity soonish, that is to say hopefully version 3.1. So who knows, could be in over the next couple of months, I don't know. Um, but yeah, you can see in the screenshot, there's a drop down. If you're familiar with other DAWs, um, you'll recognize this and you've got a, a FabFilter Pro EQ as an example there as a VST instrument. Um, so if you click through on the link there, they've got this little, this little uh, demonstration preview of the real-time effects feature in Audacity. One of the most frequently requested additions to Audacity, and I've been requesting it. Now it's finally coming to Audacity. You'll be able to use any VST audio unit, LADSP or LV2 effects real-time. So VST, uh, the most common, it's probably what we're going to see most people using, but also other formats as well. No AAX or anything, that's a Pro Tools thing, but uh, let's have a look what it's going to look like or what they say it's going to look like uh, so far anyway. So this is, you recognize this, Audacity, Audacity window, add real time effects to a track. So you've got this new button here, um, it might change when it actually comes out, but we click on this button and then it lets you add a new effect. The new real-time effects panel allows you to add multiple real-time effects on your tracks. So similarly to another door, you can add multiple effects. So then you've got a list of all your effects. Click on, clicking on add new effect button should open a menu for selecting which effect to use. So let's click through. And then, yeah, this is awesome. So we've got this uh, Voxengo span effect added. Once the effect has been selected, we should display the effect you are in a floating window. The real-time effect is active and affects, affects the track on playback, so not destructively applied. So again, if you're not 100% sure what this means, normally with Audacity, you, you highlight a section of audio, then click on effects at the top and you'll set something on an EQ or compressor, reverb, whatever, hit apply or hit render, can't remember what the wording is, um, and it will destructively change that audio. So you, you can undo it, um, but you can't then change the settings. You'd have to undo and, and reprint the effect on that. Whereas what this does is you should be able to play back the audio and listen to what it's going to do and then make changes throughout, throughout the mixing uh, process. So add another effect. Another difference besides non-destructive and editing with real time with track effects is that you can stack multiple effects on top of each other in a non-destructive effects chain. So we've got this fab filter EQ here. Now you've got two effects running real time in, seri in series and you can see them up there on the left. And you can change them around. Um, so if you want to change the order, so if you want to EQ first then compress or compress then EQ for example, you've got a bypass button on the left there. Add real time effects to the track via main menu. You can also add, you've still got that effect track there and you'll still be able to use destructive or real time. So that's it. Uh, that's what they've announced. I'm, I'm really looking forward to it and it'll be interesting. I'll do a video when it's out, I'll do another video um, just showing how well it works. I'm, I'm wondering how, um, how efficient in terms of CPU power and things it'll be, how many effects it will let you stack up if there's a limit anything like that 
the next most wanted feature i think for a lot of people me certainly is non-destructive editing so you can see the edits you've made and go back and and undo them and change them that'd be really cool but no this this is good this shows that they're taking the software in the right direction. They're still keeping it sim simple, straightforward. It's got that easy to, to use user interface. Um, but yeah, it's just coming into the modern day a little bit more because it's the pretty much the only DAW or that, I, that I know of anyway that, that still doesn't have real-time effects except for you know just the the free ones you might get with your computer but well i mean if you have a mac you've got garage band and even even that has real-time effects so it's good to see audacity heading in this, this direction let me know in the comment section below what you think of this are you looking forward to using real-time effects in audacity um and if there's anything else you're really hoping they'll add to audacity let me know it'd be good to get a conversation going. And for more Audacity tips and tutorials, just hit that subscribe button. And as always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.